Uh, welcome to onboard Charisma. This is uh, this is our 56 foot catch, masthead catch sailboat. Uh, boat is not set up to go sailing right now. Lots of things still need to be stowed. Um, cockpit in particular is uh, not ready either. But I wanted to start up here on top just to kind of give you perspective. All right, so right now we're looking at the uh, forward part of the boat and how you get in the salon is through the stairs right here. So as we move down into the salon area, we go down the stairs. And we are in the salon. But just as soon as you get down, if you wanna, if you look to the right, which is the starboard side, uh, you'll see what we call the navigation station, or nav station for short. And Charisma has two MFDs on board. This is the larger of the two. The other one is at the helm. Uh, this covers our charts. We can update them, get all the current charts. Uh, covers all the navigation. Uh, it's a Garmin system, which uh, you also have the VHF and then a single sideband radio. This is our electrical panel. We can control and monitor 120 volt and the 12 volt system. And Charisma has about 1120 amp hours of lithium batteries on board. Just kind of pan around Done quite a bit on board uh, in the salon area. All of the uh, seat cushions are have been replaced. Um, the uh, countertops have all been redone. Shannon put backsplash on. Just kind of panning around here. Back into the uh, galley area. So we'll take a couple steps here. Uh, right here is what's called an Acuva and that is a filtration, water filtration and UV uh, cleaning system. Charisma has a freezer and, or a fridge and a freezer. Uh, this is the fridge system upgraded for by one of the previous owners. Uh, plenty, of, plenty of space to store food. Back there where the Ninja Foodie is, that's where the freezer's at. I'm not going to open it. It's an exact replica of the fridge. The uh, electric stove, we, uh, we removed the propane stove from the boat, and we have electric. Uh, we'll move back to the captain's cabin, the aft stateroom. This is the uh, head. Saltwater system, uh, with the exception of the bidet. The bidet is hooked to it. Moving into the shower area. Try to get the sunlight out of the camera. So we're going to leave the aft stateroom, and we're going to make our way to the forward stateroom. And the forward stateroom is actually where we had the remodel done. Not to go into too much detail, but this used to be two uh, different uh, berths, uh, both with bunks. Both looked exactly like this, this one. And it allowed us to increase the size of the port bed. You see above the port bed, we actually are using that as storage. Uh, we got rid of the upper berth and uh, we got our scuba gear in there. Some other things that we just have tossed up there for now. You got the forward head. 
that we're moving into. This is uh, this whole room was completely redone. It used to be a lot larger. We added this uh, this wall here. And uh, what that did is allow us to make this closet area. All right, so we're going to leave out of this head, go through the forward stateroom. And we are going to work our way to the engine room so we can show you that. But one thing I want to show you. Uh, as we make our way that way is a uh, pretty smart way to use some of the space on board uh, that Shannon actually had. Good idea. Good idea. So in this staircase there was a lot of wasted space. Uh, we have an appliance that is a necessity on board uh, and that's an ice maker for cocktails or whatever else. But Shannon had a great idea to utilize the space under the staircase. And so while the remodel was going on, we had those folks build us a drawer system so we could store the ice maker. But we are now gonna work our way to the engine room. Again, the engine room is not set up to go sailing. Things are not stowed like they should be. Um, that's okay when you're at anchor and when you're at the dock. And as we move into the engine room, which is you can look down at the engine and that's 125 horsepower Perkins engine. Uh, easy to work on. It's a diesel. Uh, plenty of space around it, uh, which is my favorite part. Uh, one of the add-ons in here that we have uh, are these Milwaukee Packouts. Uh, allows me to, you know, store small parts, you know, heat shrink, you know, tools. But saw this on uh, on our friend's boat. He was using it on Cavu, and uh, thought it was a great idea. And and I just you know you can keep screws, bolts, everything kind of together. And then also you have a wet dry vac that is also part of the uh, pack out. So you can move that uh, all around the boat if I need to. So. We'll make our way back out of the engine room and we will be back in the salon. And uh, that really concludes the uh, boat tour of a, uh, of a Nautical Development 56 uh, sailing vessel Charisma. And uh, she, is, she is just about ready uh, to shove off and uh, circumnavigate, which is the plan.